All right, FSD demo drive part two with my coworker here. This is his first time ever trying out FSD. So we're doing it in some complex parking lots here. And uh, yeah, just trying to answer his questions to see what FSD is like, what the whole AI Tesla vision accomplishes. And look, we've got people crossing, speed bumps. So basically, we got to go through everything we just went through, right? Um, so you're at least familiar, right, on what it's gonna do, okay? But yeah, with all variables and real life people around, um, nice you know, stop, the stop if, sign in the parking lot. If it yeah. can't handle real world situations, then what's the point of it? You know, if it like the my goal is to kind of stump it. Like right now, it needs to get in its left lane. Look, I figured it out. Yeah. Got in yeah, its left it did, lane. It went into it, yeah. Or else it would have been not enough space, you know? It would have put me too far right, and then you would have to make a right and a U-turn. and. Right, right. So the goal is to try to put it in real-life scenarios, or else why would you use it then? If you have to take over, then it's it's not accurate, it right? It defeats the purpose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. the goal is is zero interventions and we are not perfect yet best believe if there's like a ladder in the middle of the road it could potentially hit it um you know and you should see the rate of improvement in the last two years since i've been driving mm -hmm. has been unbelievable unlike any other product i've seen as far as improvement goes so maybe one day it can get around that ladder on the road too yeah are the are the software engineers pulling in information from our drive today mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. using that to, to absolutely update the software upgrade absolutely the software? that's being pulled in of course okay. in between each update they're pulling in all the teslas from the road look how the car Here turned yeah. light turned green car started going immediately and now we need to go straight and look how it put us in the right lane right. perfectly yeah. So yeah, it's collecting data from the fleet, so so to say. And uh, before they release the update back to everyone else, they're you know tweaking it and learning yeah. what's good, what's bad, and sending it back to all the cars. But 12.3 is the first time where I feel comfortable enough to put anyone in my driver's seat mm. and now mm -hmm. showcase this. Sure. Before 12.3, I was comfortable with people sitting in my passenger seat because I know where it's going to mess up. Okay. Now, this improvement has been such a leap forward where I, I'm going to get Michelle maybe to do it too. I'm mm -hmm. going to try to get her reaction. Michelle just to be a good case to, to yeah. bring in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah just yeah, because, absolutely. you know, let's go to Starbucks real quick. You know? right, right. See how the car takes us to Starbucks or whatever. Yeah, I like the confidence in the acceleration. When, when it when it makes the turn onto the road, it will accelerate. With, Has an ego with speed. It does. It, it does. does. And then it does have a good uh, distance of braking, so you don't feel as though okay, you're, you're going fast. You're going to hit the back of the car in front of you. No, no. it'll slow down in plenty of distance. Plenty of distance. To keep natural, the natural, like human like. Right. And, and that's yeah. been tweaked and improved so many times. Yeah. In the three years I've had the car, two years I've been on FSD. And in those two years, I probably gotten 25 updates. Mm. So just imagine. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you've seen a lot through the 25. Absolutely. You've seen the progression man. I've and seen the improvements. The, and... I'm, yes. Yeah. And, and that's why I'm so amazed. Wow. That's why I'm like, holy shit, the car is driving itself now. Like, it legit is yeah. driving itself now. Certainly. Here we go with the light. We're going to cross and just a short bit for the rest of this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hit that like button if you did. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FSD beta videos. I'm going to try to bring you more challenging drives now that it's getting really good. I'm going to try to put it through some complex like parking lot situations. Stuff like that. Stuff where you're going to try to use it like every day. And uh, yeah, see where we go from there. Here we go with the stop sign. Lots of cars, it knows it's right away. It analyzes what car got there first. If it's not moving, if it's hesitant, it'll just go. Right? Before yeah. it would wait and then I would have to nudge it through. And this this update has provided a huge um, 
Have you seen uh, Oppenheimer yet? No, not not yet. Oh, you haven't. Yeah, I haven't been. found three hours to sit down. And no worries. Sort well, through that. I was gonna. Only reason I asked, I said the the reaction I was hoping was gonna be just like the movie <laughs> to V12 right here. Yeah. yeah <laughs> just like a, astonishing, you know. I mean, it's been for me at least. It's been uh, pretty amazing. So we're just gonna pull back into the parking lot here, and that should complete the video. It, it took a little right turn to mm -hmm. the to the building beside us, but then it, it went back out to the. To and the if road. there's this cars and bit. people, like yeah. it, it adapts to the dynamics of the road, you know. Maybe the bike lanes are throwing here. It, off it used a to bit. really hesitate before. And now it's so smooth. But at this point, it will just circle the building, so you kind of have to take over now. Okay. And I want to thank everyone for watching this and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And have a great rest of the day.